I'm not gonna see Siren Head. I'm not gonna see Siren Head. I'm not gonna see Siren Head. Siren Head! This is a test of the emergency broadcast system. Wait, it was all just in my imagination. Okay. I'm not gonna see Cartoon Cat. I'm not gonna see Cartoon Cat. CARTOON CAT! <sighs> that too was also in my imagination. Hey, do you mind? I'm trying to read Stinkopedia. Well, you know, every time a monster shows up, it's when we least expect it. So this time I'm putting out the welcome mat, so to speak. How's that been working out for ya? It's great. Every time I thought I saw something, it turns out it's just in my imagination. So what's out there now? Hmm, all that's out there is just a bunch of houses. Hey, that one looks kinda new. They have been building a lot of new ones due to the real estate boom. There's something about that one that just doesn't look quite right. If you're interested in real estate, you can invest in Fundrise. And my advisor told me to avoid real estate investment trusts. Ah, got stung in the 2008 bubble, did ya? I don't like to talk about it. Wait, what year was I born anyway? Just keep looking out the window, honey. And back to the window, which surely will have nothing new and interesting. What? Aren't you gonna ask me what I saw in the window? Eh, this just seems like typical Addy activity to me. Jillian, one of the houses just grew legs and turned into some sort of house-headed spider monster, or house head, if you will. That's the most ridiculous thing you've ever made up since that giant stick man with the loudspeakers for a head. What, you mean Siren Head? Ah, uh, Siren Head. Yeah, Siren Head, who, by the way, was real. Remember there was two of them? They came in here, they had a dance off. Oh yeah, good times. Forget about Siren Head. You have to go to the window so you can see House Head, who is even scarier than Siren Head. Why did you go out of your way to compare him to Siren Head? I don't know, just seemed like the thing to do. It's almost like you want to work the word Siren Head into the title of this video in case people don't know what a house head is. Just go to the window and take a look. I'm exhausted. So, this house head guy, do you know anything about him? Let me see. It's a monster with a house for a head. Bravo. What else you got? Ooh, it tricks people into thinking it's a house, so they'll go inside. And then it digests them. Oh, you mean like a Venus flytrap? No, like a house head person trap. Whatever, I'm not going anywhere near that thing, so it's not gonna eat me. This does beg the question, who just sees a strange house and is like, you know what, I'm going inside. I don't know, it seems to happen in haunted house movies all the time. Maybe it's like a fraternity hazing thing. Either way, we should be safe inside our own house, right? Right? Well, unless there's some sort of way it could shrink itself down and get inside our house, then it could get us. A house inside a house? That's crazy! It sounds like it's on the move. Maybe we should go check on it. Let's go to the window. He's gone. Well, there. Problem solved and much earlier than usual. Huh, maybe it's someone selling essential oils? 
Julian, this isn't a good time to scare me more than I already am. This is your fault, Julian. You're the one who suggested it could shrink itself to get into our house. It was inevitable. It probably just evolved. What do you mean, evolved? Well, like we were saying, who would be gullible enough to go into a strange house, especially once the word got out about these things? Eh, you'd be surprised the amount of dumb things people do in the name of affordable housing these days. Affordable housing? That's it! Addy, you're a genius! Well, duh, but... Do you mind explaining why? If this house is in our house, then legally we can charge him rent. And if he doesn't pay, we can evict him. I mean, technically he's trespassing, so there's that too. It's time to get litigious. All right, househead, you're in our house, and that means you gotta live by our rules. Pay the rent or get set. Home. Well, I guess your home is on your head, but you get what I mean. Oh, he's like a big hermit crab, isn't he? Ah, uh, he has squatter's rights! Well, that didn't work very well. Eh, we're in over our heads. After all, we're not lawyers. Call us legal eagle. Well, the way I see it, we gotta get inside this guy's head. Well, not his actual head. That would kill us. So what do you propose? What do houses fear most? Property reassessments? HOA fees? No, that's what homeowners fear most. I mean, what can really hurt a property. I don't know. Arson? Earthquakes? Flooding? Take your pick. Well, we can't just start an earthquake, can we? And the other things would damage our house, too. So are you gonna tell me what your idea is, or are you just gonna quiz me all day? The way I see it, all buildings are made out of wood. Uh, the Parthenon, the Colosseum, the Great Pyramids, all made out of stone. You know what I mean. Not to mention the Washington Monument, the Taj Mahal, the Eiffel Tower. It is the... This particular house head seems to be made out of wood. And what's the natural enemy of wood? The lumberjack. No. The beaver. No, the paper industry. No, the termite. Wait a minute. Termites can be the lumberjacks? Aw, oh, that's so cute. Do they wear little red flannel shirts and they carry around chainsaws? Termites are nature's lumberjacks. And luckily, I got a million of them. <laughs> what, you just keep a box of termites around for this kind of situation? Ever since that whole Pinocchio situation, I've liked to carry in a little protection. Yeah, you'd think a restraining order would mean something. Let's go bug this monster. Alright, househead, you see these things? They're termites! They look a lot like the roaches we had in that other video. Shh! They're termites! Now get them, boys! Ah! He must have called Terminix! Not a sponsored video! He seemed very unimpressed with the termites, Addy. Yeah, in retrospect, they might actually have been roaches. And fake ones at that. This house head is never going to take us seriously, because it's the predator, and we're the prey! If only there was some sort of giant turntable so we could turn the tables on this house head. Hmm, maybe there is a way to even the playing field. Well, are you going to tell me? I'll get the props. You follow my lead. I mean, I'm literally right here. You could just tell me what the plan is. Just follow my lead. Okay. Grrr! I am another house head! Grrr! This 
is my territory. There can only be one of us, and I was here first. I don't think he believes you, Jillian. Try to be more convincing. I am a house head, and I'm going to eat that human. Come here, delicious human. Oh no, I am being eaten. If any other house heads come by, they are sure to be disappointed. How's it going? I don't think he's buying it. Time for phase B. Now, Addy. Look at that. I ate all the meat off of her bones, which I am going to save for a nice soup later on. It worked! He left! Good thing I had my trusty skeleton with me. What, you just carry a skeleton around just in case? Every so often when my problems really start to pile up, I have to fake my own death. Understandable. Move on. So do you really think he's gonna stay away for good? Yep, that's it. He's gone. Everything's solved. No more problems. Don't say that. You'll jinx us. It sounds like it's coming from outside. Oh no! We'll deal with him next time, depending on how well this video does. Addy? Psst, Jillian. Addy, what are you doing there? Shh, be quiet. Come here. What gives? Shh, I'm hiding. Hiding from what? Shh, I'm hiding from Megahorn. Stop shushing me. And what's a mega horn anyway? It's him. I knew it. I knew it. Let me go check this out. So, is that mega horn? Is he out there? I don't know what he looks like. Is he tall? Yeah, he's tall. Does he have big, sharp, pointy teeth? Oh yeah, you know he does. Megahorn has big, sharp, pointy teeth. And does he have floppy, furry ears? Oh yeah, he- No, Megahorn doesn't have big, floppy, furry ears. Oh, my mistake. It looks more like a giant speaker. No, more like a mega-sized horn-like structure. That's Megahorn, Jillian. Mega horn! Quick, get in the closet with me! I don't want to crouch in that closet. It's hard on my knees. You know, with my old scissor to the knee injury. Ugh, she sure is getting a lot of mileage out of that injury. Besides, like I always say, why crouch when you have a couch? Yeah, sure, you always say that. So what exactly is this mega turd? It's not mega turd, it's mega horn. Whatever. Mega horn is a giant monster, like Siren Head, but even worse. Ah, so he's an SCP. Siren Head and Mega Horn are not SCPs. SCPs are created on the Foundation website. Everybody knows this. Oh, so like Slenderman? <laughs> Slenderman is not an SCP either. Oh, did you say something? How could you be texting at a time like this? You better be calling the police, the army, the space force! No, even better. I just ordered a siren head. He'll sort this all out. You ordered a siren head? Why? You said it yourself. Siren head is even worse than Megahorn. I specifically said the opposite! The opposite being siren head is better than Megahorn? Not worse? No, I said Megahorn is worse than Siren Head. Oh, 
Oh. If that poor Siren Head shows up here, he doesn't stand a chance. Not even like a, a little chance? A, a little itty bitty chance? Jillian, Megahorn doesn't just beat Siren Heads, he eats Siren Heads. So, Addy, any thoughts? Let's go to the window. I'm thinking there's a pretty good chance they become friends. Come on, Siren Head. You can do it. Wow, I didn't know it could make a sound like that. And the fight's over. But... But Siren Head will be okay, right? Uh, he went screaming down the throat of Megahorn. What do you think? But... but he'll be okay, right? So now we're down one Siren Head and we still have a Megahorn out there. Well, at least we're down one Siren Head. You're the one who called him here! Wait, how did you do that anyway? Mm, it's a pretty standard service, like calling an Uber or a SWAT team. We should be safe for a little while now that he's fed. He'll probably leave the area. Unless... Unless what? Unless the Siren Head is the same one that could shrink itself down, and the Megahorn could take on the characteristics of those he has consumed, thus enabling him to get inside the house. Yeah, that seems pretty unlikely. That'll never happen. Never, ever, ever. You had to open your big mouth, didn't you? It was the same Siren Head who could shrink himself down, and the Megahorn can take on the characteristics of those he has consumed. Alright, time to discuss. Not much is known about Megahorn except for the fact that he eats Siren Heads. Siren Head, let's start with that. How did we defeat him last time? Which time? The time we used karaoke or the time there was a dance-off with the other Siren Head? Well, there we go. After a little bit of discussion, we now have two ways to defeat this thing. But those won't necessarily work on Megahorn. Two ways. Fine. Alright, Megahorn, get ready for some killer karaoke. Wait, what song did we sing last time? I forget. Oh wait, I remember it was Siren Man. Maybe we should change it to Mega Horn. Right, one, two, three, four! Mega Horn, Mega Horn, Mega Horn, Mega Horn. Jillian, this isn't working. Uh, dance off? Jillian, it's just making him angry. He's not a fan of modern dance! So your karaoke dance-off idea didn't work very well? That was your idea. I clearly stated that I had some misgivings. What does Thanksgiving have to do with anything? Anyway, we need to regroup. Right, right. So, Megahorn. He's just a giant walking horn with teeth. And we have giant teeth. Yeah, we have giant- What? So all we need now is a giant horn. I'm not following this at all, Jillian. You never have any faith in me. Well, your last strategy involved a karaoke machine and a dance-off. Have faith, my child. Grr, mega horn, look at these big teeth. These really hurt. Addy, don't break the illusion. Grr, grr. Huh? Oh, yeah. Grr, grr. Grr, 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 grr. Addy, it's not working. Get the horn. Hey. 
Water! <laughs> ah! He's not afraid of plastic teeth or plastic horns! It was such a good idea. Such a good idea, Addy. And it didn't work. Yeah, the idea sucked. Well, what's your big idea, Missy Poo? I don't get it. This guy should be full by now. He ate a whole siren head. And now he's small. He won't eat another big siren head. Wait, maybe he will. Julian, call another siren head. I don't know. I still haven't paid for the last one. Just business expenses. This is a video. But what good's another siren head gonna do? Won't that just make things worse? It prefers to eat siren heads. We'll sacrifice another one just to get this thing out of the house. And what if it eats that siren head? If he takes on the characteristics of a big one, he'll stay big and stay out of our house. And I just ordered a nice big juicy siren head. I'm surprised they let you order another one so soon. They have short memories. Sounds like he's out in the backyard already. Come on. You hear that, Megahorn? There's a big juicy siren head out in the yard. There's napkins and utensils in the kitchen if you need them. We better go watch this. Wow, that's a really big juicy siren head. No, Jillian, that's Great Mother Megaphone, the worst of them all. Even worse than Megahorn? Yeah, what part of worst of them all don't you understand? Oh no. And then the girls looked out of their window into the darkness and they saw Huggy Wuggy. Huggy Wuggy? That's the end of the story? I'm supposed to be afraid of that? Huggy Wuggy is quite terrifying. Huh, I could tell a much scarier story than that. What, scarier than Huggy Wuggy? This is a story about the upside down face man. His face is upside down? What happens when he sneezes? Never mind that. It all started a long time ago when a historian was looking through pictures of disasters. Yes, all great stories start with a historian looking at pictures. This is so exciting. The historian noticed that in the background photo of every disaster, there was a man with an upside-down face. I am scared. Really? Yeah, that face you made was terrifying. Very funny. Anyway, they soon found out the upside-down face man was a being that feeds off of misery. So he's like some sort of emotional vampire? Still not as scary as Huggy Wuggy. You wouldn't be acting so cool if you saw the upside-down face man face to face. Well, that's never gonna happen, so... Blech. Fine, I'm just gonna leave you here alone in the dark. Say hi to Huggy Wuggy for me. Now where was I? Jillian thinks she's so brave. Huh. She wouldn't be so brave if the upside down face man were here. That's it! I'll summon the upside down face man. Hmm. Now how do I summon negative energy? Hmm. I know! Spinach! No, wait, I actually like spinach. It's just when they put it in cans, that's disgusting. Um... Puppy's getting sick? No, that's going too far. Oh, I know! Politics! <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Politics. <laughs> Politics. Yeah, that's about all the politics I can stand. I guess this just isn't working. What? Huh, upside down face man! No wait, that's exactly what I wanted to happen. How you doing? 
and now to summon Jillian. Jillian, get up here, because BTS is up here. No, I'm not lying. Alright. And now to wait for your first victim. Oh yeah, not your first victim. You've done this before. It's your next of many victims. <laughs> I think she's coming. Alright, BTS, I'm here. I don't see BTS. No, but pretty soon you're gonna be seeing UDFM. UDFM? I'm not up on that band. It stands for Upside Down Face Man. You remember when you said you weren't scared of him? What would you do if he were here now? Well, he doesn't exist, but if he did, first I'd give him one of these, and one of those, and then one of these, and so on and so on. Well, Jillian, you might want to look slightly to your... Your left. Well, I don't know where this is going, but okay. Okay, Julian, we're waiting. A little of this, and a little of that, and so on. Ah, it's Upside Down Face Man! Get her! Oh boy. Addy, Upside Down Face Man is in our house! Well, well, well. Look who's come crawling back to Addy for solutions. It was more of a heads up, but yeah, any ideas on how to get rid of him? More like heads up, side down. Haha, <laughs> see what I did there? You've made your point. You brought him here, now get rid of him. First, you have to admit that he's scary. Fine, I admit it. He's scary. Now get rid of him. Fine, but you have to face him one last time. Why? I just admitted he's scary. Well, it might be nice to tell him that, don't you think? I didn't expect him to be right there. Just tell him to leave. It's okay, you can leave now. Jillian's a believer. I'm very scared. He's not leaving. Uh, this is a positive thing. She believes in you, so there's no negative energy here. Ah, he can smell fear! He's not leaving, Addy, and he seems more powerful than ever. I don't get it. The negative energy should be gone. I haven't thought about politics in a good five minutes. You were thinking about politics? <sighs> Wait, he appears when there's actual disasters. Maybe we need something more concrete to send him on his way. Oh, you mean like, give him a good book? But Jillian, where will we get a book on such short notice? Ah. This one's perfect. The Power of Positive Thinking by Norman Vincent Peale. Oh, NVP. He's the real NVP. When Upside Down Face Man gets these positive vibes, he'll just fade away. Upside Down Face Man, we have a gift for you. Here, read this. He's reading it! This just might work! Ah! He recognizes that there is no easy solutions! Wait, how'd you get in this chair ahead of me? I just had that little extra burst of energy at the end. I guess your self-help book didn't work, huh? This guy thrives on negative energy. It might take more than a book. In a way, I feel kinda sorry for him. He's absorbed a lot of negativity over the years. At this point, maybe the negative energy's coming from inside himself. How do you fix that? Hmm, maybe all he needs is a friend. You're right, every time we scream and run from him, we're just giving him more negativity. I think we know what to do. Ah, 
Upside down face man, we're gonna break you out of this negativity spiral. No tricks, we want to be friends with you. What do you say? Friends? Goodbye, Upside Down Face Man. Don't forget us. We'll be looking for you in the newspaper photos. This was a good week. We didn't just get rid of the monster, we really made a new friend. Yeah, but I'm also glad this is all over. Uh. What's that? Let's go to the window. Ah! Huggy Wuggy! Oh no. I told you he was scary. Jillian, is that you? It's outside! Eh, must have been an ice cream truck. Ah! 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 Jillian! 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 Yes, my child? Oh, don't you my child me. This is an emergency. I'm sure it is. I was, I was in the room, and I heard the hushed little baby song, and then I went to the window, and there was this big pink monster! Are you sure it wasn't just Dad with a sunburn? No, it wasn't Dad with a sunburn. At least I don't think it was. Just take a look. Now it's important that we exactly recreate what I was doing last time, so we have to walk like this. I'm not gonna walk like that. Fine, more for me. I don't get it. There was hush little baby music last time. Where did you see the monster? Let's go to the window. On second thought, you go to the window. Now wait for it. Wait for it. I don't see anything. What? I don't get it. He was just out there. Of course he was. Jillian, I don't get it. Crazy stuff happens to us every week. Why do you not believe me now? I'm just being difficult. You have to believe me. He had a head like a big light bulb and he had these spiky squid legs. Oh yes, because that makes it much more believable. And he had this theme music. Kinda went like this. Addy, did you make that sound? Oh, that's the music, Jillian. That's the music I was telling you about. I'm gonna go see for myself. I feel it's my duty to warn you there's going to be a jump scare. See, I told you there was nothing out there. <laughs> What is that thing, Addy? What is it? Let's see. He's a big pink man. I think it's the pink man. 
The Pink Man? That sounds terrifying. I guess. What does he do? Little is known about the Pink Man. Yeah, but... This is the part where you're supposed to tell me something. He's pink. He may be a man. Or not. That's about all we got. I mean, what does he do besides jump out and scare people? Can he get into the house? What? <laughs> no, he could never get into the house. Unless for some reason the door was open. <laughs> Jillian, is the door open? No. <laughs> Ooh, you're lying. Alright, I may have left the door open, but nothing else. Nothing else, huh? Is there a sign out there that says, Welcome to all? Well, yeah, but at least it doesn't say, Welcome pink men. Why would you do that, Jillian? Why now, of all times? You know how we're gonna have a big Christmas party? It's April. I just wanted people to feel welcome, that's all. I didn't know there'd be a big pink man running around the neighborhood. You gotta cut me some slack. No slack will be cut. Anyway, there's lots of houses in the neighborhood. What are the odds he'd choose ours? Have you seen our videos? Any of them? <coughs> Those better be Christmas party guests. Ah! It's the Pink Man! Okay, so we got into the house somehow. We don't know how. Let's not point any fingers here. It was you. Well, there's gotta be more in that phone about the Pink Man. Why is he pink? How do we defeat him? I was thinking about what you said about Dad being sunburned. Yeah, that's not sunburned, Dad. No, maybe the reason this thing came in the house is to get out of the sun, huh? So if we destroy this house and make one entirely out of glass, he'll go away. Yes, that would work, but what's even easier is if we just give him some sunblock. Sunblock? Do you really think that would work? And where would we even get any- What? Sunblock. Just happen to be carrying some around. Why are you unnaturally covering the brand name? Because I don't think Neutrogena should get free publicity, do you? You just said the brand name. Dang it! Let's just give him the sunblock and get on with our lives. How'd he give him the sunblock? But this stuff's expensive, I was just gonna spray a little on him. That's not the spray kind. It isn't? Hey, pink man, put some of this on and get out of our house, why don't ya? Ah, <laughs> uh, maybe he did want the spray kind after all! Did you see that, Jillian? He didn't even want to use the sunblock. Well, it was your idea. Wait, why are you holding a ukulele? What? So I can do this. Are you trying to drive him away with bad music? And many more. What are you talking about? Music brings people together. Just get rid of the ukulele. Alright, fine. What's your great idea? I do have an idea. I couldn't help but notice something about the pink man. That he's pink? Because I swear, if you say that, Jillian... <laughs> he seems to be a bit underdressed. Fashion isn't the answer to everything, Jillian. Look, he's stuck outside, he doesn't have any clothing. We'll just give him a few outfits and he'll be on his way. You just happen to have outfits for someone his size? I have outfits for every occasion, but these are just a few rags he can drape over himself. Those are my clothes in that bag, aren't they? Just a few old rags. <laughs> Pink man, we're gonna give you these clothes here and give you some privacy. Do you really think this is gonna work? Wait, it sounds like he's trying them on. What exactly does someone trying on clothes sound like? He may have tried on the clothes, but it sounds like he's still out there, Jillian. Mm, he might need a little prompting.
Where'd he go? Hmm, what do you know? It worked. He left. Yeah, I'm not convinced. We better go check that front door. Well, there you go. Doors closed, pink band's gone, problem solved. Yeah, I'm not so sure. <laughs> ah, he turned into a giant baby! <laughs> Addy, why did he turn into a giant baby? Some people say that the Pink Man really is a giant baby, sometimes called the Forgotten Baby. Oh yeah, it makes sense that the song Hush Little Baby was playing. Great, so the Pink Man and the Forgotten Baby are the same thing. How do we get rid of a baby? From what I've heard, we're on the hook until it turns 18 and can move out. But what if he decides to live in the basement and play video games all day? Don't worry, he can't get in the door. Babies don't have opposable thumbs. Yes, they do. I thought they grew in later. You know, like baby teeth. Babies don't chase people around the house either, but that one just did. I think he's hungry. Quick, we'll go to the store and get some baby food. No time for that, but maybe this will work. Hey, that's my cream of wheat. You said you were keeping this for emergencies, and this feels like an emergency, doesn't it? Just because I gave the baby your clothes doesn't mean you can use my cream of wheat. Aha! You said that was just a bag full of rags. You were never gonna wear those anyway. Let's just give them the cream of wheat. Forgotten baby, we didn't forget about you. Here's some nice cream of wheat. Ah, we forgot to add boiling water and milk. We gotta get rid of this baby before its parents come looking for it. They won't. It's the forgotten baby. Aw, that kind of makes me sad, poor little guy. Poor little eight-foot-tall guy, you mean. Maybe he just needs to know that somebody cares. Oh, don't look at me. I'm not giving him a hug. Alright, we've given him clothing and food, and he's here for the shelter. What else could make him happy? You don't happen to have a giant rattle, do you? No but I do have a giant blanket. Oh, another shameless merch plug? Let's just give him the blanket. All right, pink man or forgotten baby, we're gonna give you this blanket. But you have to promise to find a place of your own. You know, one with more headspace. <laughs> <laughs> he seemed to like the blanket. And I think this time he's gone for good. Man, all this talk of cream of wheat's making me hungry. Well, I hope you don't want cream of wheat, cause we're all out for some reason. Eh, I could call DoorDash and have them send a little. Now what? I don't think it's DoorDash. <laughs> it's the Milk Walker. Oh no. <laughs> Addie, are you in here? No. I saw you. You even said no. That wasn't me. Why, you little- Addie, you get out of there this instant. Nobody's home. What are you doing anyway? That's right, I'm hiding! Well, I found you. I'm not hiding from you. I'm hiding from the the the, 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 Stop babbling incoherently. What is it, man? B -b 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 breaking news. Breaking news? 
You're afraid of a news report? Look out the window, Jillian. See for yourself. Fine. What is that thing? Is he really, really tall? Yeah. Is he as dark as night? I guess so. Jillian, you're looking at breaking news. Ah, breaking news! How'd he let me in? No, there isn't enough room for both of us. There's plenty of room in there, just move over. Man, all this wrestling is making me tired. I want to sit on the couch. Yeah, I see what you mean. What are we gonna do, Addy? Eh, it's breaking news. There isn't much we can do. Well, you seem to know everything about it. What is that thing? He's somewhere between a world eater and a city destroyer. He's sort of an agent of mass destruction. Well, I know exactly who can handle this. You're not calling the Space Force again, are you, Jillian? They got pretty annoyed last time. They need jobs, too. And anyway, I'm calling someone else. It doesn't look like you're calling anyone, it just looks like you're ordering a pizza. Well, excuse me, the world's ending and I'm getting a little hungry. But I did order something else. Chicken wings? No, I ordered Siren Head. He'll know what to do. Siren Head? Jillian, did you learn nothing from our last experience with Megahorn? Mega what now? Last year, you thought Siren Head could take care of Megahorn, and then Siren Head got eaten. <laughs> but that was Megahorn. This is breaking news. He doesn't eat Siren Heads. Jillian, he totally eats Siren Heads. He does? Oh, well, um, good thing I didn't order one. I was just, you know, testing you. Oh, Jillian, you a liar. <laughs> yeah, good joke, huh? Jillian, if you didn't order a siren head, then why do I hear a siren head? Uh, that's not siren head, that's just a siren. You know, cause breaking news is out there. You lie. Well, I'll just go show you myself then. Go siren head, you can do it, I believe in you. I don't. Ugh. I didn't even know he could make that sound. Well, Jillian, you sent another siren head to his death. I hope you feel good about yourself. Don't worry, this next siren head I'm gonna order is gonna do the trick. No, stop ordering Siren Heads! I'm surprised they haven't frozen your account by now. I just make a new username every time. Well, as long as he stays out there and we stay in here, we should be fine. Unless... Unless he steps on our house? No, well, technically, but no, that's not what my unless meant. Ooh, ooh, unless he pretends to be the pizza man to trick us into opening the door. Where is that pizza, anyway? No, I was gonna say, unless he's a shape-shifting breaking news. You mean he might shape-shift into looking like a pizza delivery man? No, he might shrink himself down enough to come into our house. Hey, as long as he brings a pizza, I'm fine. Would you forget about the pizza for a second? Hey, maybe you can monster hunt on an empty stomach, but I can't. Jillian, for your sake, that better be the pizza man. We're right back here! Do you want us to die? I don't want to live in a world where there isn't pizza. Let's just go to the door and scream at the monster. Ah! He shapeshifted and he definitely doesn't have pizza! What are we gonna do, Addy? As far as I know, breaking news has no weaknesses. Yeah, unless another breaking news comes along. I wonder... It seems like you have an idea. What is it? I wonder if we could fight breaking news with breaking news. Sorry, all this app will let me order is siren heads. 
Well, maybe another breaking news will just come along and beat this one up because he's so small now. Why don't I use this phone to play a breaking news report? Then he'll become self-aware and implode. That's the worst idea I've ever heard. Well, it's better than your idea of feeding him siren heads until he chokes. That was your idea. Let's just try my idea. All right, but it better be a real breaking news report. You know, with a panicky news anchor. Ooh, have I got a panicky news reporter for you. Oh boy, Jillian, this better work. Hey, breaking news! I've got some breaking news for you! BREAKING NEWS! We are getting reports of a giant humanoid beast of destruction known as... Breaking news? Seriously? That, that's its name? Who writes this stuff? Oh, what is that? Oh, they don't pay me enough for this! No! Ah, he doesn't let the dramatization of the media affect him! Well, that went pretty well. No, it didn't. We almost died out there. I meant the news anchor. He did a really good job. Yeah, they should give him his own channel. So, breaking news. He's still out there. How did we get rid of Megahorn last time, anyway? Pretty sure we used karaoke. Or a dance-off. Jillian, we did those things and they didn't work, remember? Exactly, it didn't work. Which makes it even more likely that it will work against breaking news. You are taking a logic course in school this year, aren't you? I'm proud to say I have no idea what logic is. Yeah, I can tell. So you're ready to do a little karaoke? If it'll prove you wrong, fine. Wait a minute, what song are we gonna sing? Um, buy our merch. Buy our merch. There's so many, we got plenty. Buy our merch. This isn't the time or the place for that. Oh, um, how about breaking news to the tune of Siren Man? Breaking news, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. Julian, this isn't working. Hey, how about a little dance off? Now I kind of want to kill you too, Jillian. Ah! He's not a fan of song and dance! I can't believe it didn't work. It was such a good idea. Such a good idea. You seem like you don't think that it was such a good idea. That's because your ideas stink. Addie, you're supposed to support me no matter what. That's not how sisterhood works. Wait, you're my sister? But we look so different. Oh, believe me, it freaked me out too when I found out. If you're the breaking news expert, you should have a plan. Wait a minute, it says here that breaking news has a death aura. Death aura, that sounds nice. What's a death aura? It's a field of doom that surrounds breaking news that kills off everything in its radius. Yeah, he really should be using a stronger deodorant. No, what I'm thinking is that we fight his aura with our aura. And may the stinkiest party win. You don't know what an aura is, do you? No idea. Just follow my lead. Hey, breaking news. We're sending out a positive aura. You know, peace and love. I don't think this is working. Jillian, don't ruin the aura. You're bringing me down, man. Hey, I brought a flower. I'm sort of a flower child. Jillian, that's a Demogorgon doll. You're totally ruining my aura. No, oh, I thought it was a flower. Ah, he doesn't believe in peace, love, and understanding. I knew your idea wouldn't work. It's so ridiculous. So you thought karaoke and playing a news report were better ideas? I'm sorry, it's just so hard to take you seriously in that getup. 
You look like Billie Jean King. What? I was going for a combination between John Lennon and Yoko Ono. You know, Lenono. Hmm. Maybe Breaking News is a Beatles fan and had some resentment about the breakup. It sounds like he's leaving. I knew sending out an aura of peace, love, and understanding would work. Wait a minute. That sound came from outside. Wait a minute, it just occurred to me that maybe an even worse creature scared it away. There's something even worse than Lenono? It says here that breaking news can be defeated by any other reality bender, such as Cartoon Cat or The Lamb. The Lamb? What's that? <coughs> Addy, was that the lamb? We better go look. It is the lamb. Oh no. Addy, is that you? Yes, it's me. I could have sworn we've already started a video this way before. Look, it was either this or me singing a song about being shy. Shy? Is that what you think shy people do? Hide under blankets? You wouldn't understand. You're not shy like me. What? Everyone knows I'm the shy one, not you. Julian, you're a classic type A personality compared to me. <gasps> How dare you call me type A? What are you gonna do? Challenge me to a shy off? That's exactly what I'm gonna do. What are you doing? I'm sending off wave after wave of shy energy. There's no such thing. You wouldn't understand. You're not shy like me. I'll show you shy energy. Shy, shy, shy. Shy, shy, shy. Shy, 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 shy. Are you all shied out yet? I'm just getting started. I have not yet begun to fight. Or maybe I should say I have not yet begun to sh No, I shouldn't say that. Oh great, Jillian, now you've done it. Done what? Based on that sound, I'd say you summoned a creature that feeds on shyness. You got all that based on one sound? Let's go to the window. What is that thing, Addy? What do I look like? Some sort of expert on strange creatures and paranormal phenomena? Have you ever watched this channel? Not really. It's more of a weekend gig at this point. You said something about summoning a creature that feeds off of shyness. Does such a creature really exist? I don't know. I was just trying to sound profound. Anyway, as long as he stays outside and we stay in here, we should be safe. Now who hasn't been paying attention to this channel? See, it's nice and quiet now. I bet that horrible monster has gone off to another house by now. Hopefully Timmy Wilson's house. What have you got against Timmy Wilson? He sat on my science project. Your science project was a chair. That was a fragile prototype. Anyway, let's go to the window. You said it wrong, it's more like this. Let's go to the window. Oh, you mean like this? Let's go to the window. Eh, close enough. And he's gone. And may Timmy Wilson rest in peace. And his family. Eh. <laughs> What was that? Let's not jump to conclusions. There's a loud noise coming from the hallway. I'm gonna jump to conclusions. 
It could just be Timmy Wilson's mom asking to borrow a cup of sugar. Ah! It's not Timmy Wilson's mother asking for a cup of sugar! It got in the house, Addie. It got in the house. And none of this would have happened if I wasn't so shy. Wait a minute. If he's attracted to shyness, maybe we just have to be the opposite of shy. The opposite of shy? Funny? No, I think we need to become type A personalities. You know, extroverts. Got it, got it. You have no idea how to be an extrovert, do you? None whatsoever. Neither do I. Hey, monster, what's up? My name's Chad. Aw, uh, I was gonna be Chad. We're extroverts, type A personalities. Yeah, my name even starts with A. My name's, uh, Attitude. And we do all kinds of stuff that only extroverts do. Like, Addy, what do extroverts do? Um, talk to people? Yeah, that's right. We're gonna go talk to people. Just go right up to them and talk. Ah, he saw through our obvious charade. Addy, I thought you said this guy feeds off of shyness. That was just a theory, like, a uh, birds being real. That's not just a theory, birds really are real. Now who's being naive? What should we do then? Here he is, SCP-096, also known as the Shy Guy. The Shy Guy? I thought that was Jesse Eisenberg. Or maybe it was Michael Sarah. I always get those two mixed up. It says here that he's a mysterious creature who doesn't like being looked at. So what's he doing walking around in the middle of the street with no clothes on? If he realizes you've seen him, he'll hunt you down to the ends of the earth, kill you, and no trace of you will ever be found. So besides that, he's not so bad. Listen! And understand! That shy guy is out there! It can't be bargained with! It can't be reasoned with! It doesn't feel pity, or remorse, or fear! And it absolutely will not stop, ever, until you are dead. So besides that, he's not so bad. Well, what do you think we should do? Fake our own death so he gives up and goes away? Actually, that's not a bad idea. Come on, I'll get the death faking equipment. to be alive and well. Yeah, I sure hope we don't just drop dead for no reason. Yeah, then the shy guy wouldn't be able to kill us because we'd already be dead. Wait, I think I'm having a fatal heart attack. I too am coincidentally having a fatal heart attack. <laughs> Jillian, do you think he bought it? It was a pretty convincing performance. All right, let's both look on three. One, two, three. <laughs> ah, maybe, maybe it, it wasn't, wasn't a convincing performance. It didn't work, Addy. It didn't work. Surprising. Normally when I fake my death, it solves all my problems. This is all your fault for being too shy. Aha, so you admit that I'm shy. This is more about assigning blame than admitting to anything. Any other ideas? I've been thinking. If he kills whoever looks at him, what would happen if he saw himself? Addy, do you really think he'll sit still while I paint a portrait of him to look at? Not like that. Something much simpler. Oh, you mean a pencil sketch. <laughs> Just follow me.
All right, shy guy, we're sorry that we looked at you, but we're not gonna let you kill us. Yeah, we hate when that happens. We're not the only ones looking at you. Take a look at this! Well, it worked. The shy guy is gone. I still kind of wish I'd made a portrait of him. The important thing is, all our troubles are over. Yep, no more surprises. What was that? I got it this time. Let's go to the window. Uh, what I was so pleasantly surprised by with uh, was, was how how generous he was with the actors. I mean, he, uh... Jesse Eisenberg. We loved you in The Social Network. Oh, no. Um, but, um, just kind of, uh, you know, gave us the time to perfect what we had planned on doing. Buy our merch, buy our merch. There's so many, we got plenty, buy our merch. Hey, if you like Jelly Nanati videos, you're gonna love our merch. With a wide variety of products and designs, there's something for everyone, including this blanket. Just click on the links below, and they'll take you to our Teespring store. Or just go to JillianandNaddy.com. It's all good. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe. Be sure to check out our other two channels. There's Jillian and Addy, our main channel, and Jillian and Addy Life, our vlogging channel. They're a ton of fun. Tell us what you thought about this video on Instagram. We also post new pictures, videos, and stories most every day. We even post sneak previews of our upcoming videos like this one. And remember, stay scared. Bye! But, wait, you're not even sharing. No, I just...